Hey y'all, it's Nash and Joe with the Tampa Drain Dudes. This morning we're here in Wesley Chapel. We got a pretty good sized French drain installation. Uh, go ahead and show you what our customers having issues with today. So right here, they actually already have one installed. They used a catch basin as the emitter for the end of this drain, but it is bone dry, meaning it's not catching any water. And it definitely should be full of water and letting water release because the middle part of these two houses is squishy as could be. Slant back here. Believe it or not, this side is the dry side. The other side of the house is much worse. Like I said, both sides of these houses are actually done already. They have the downspouts redirected. The builder did both of them, so we're not really sure what's going on. We've got these downspouts right here going into the ground with some wrapped pipe, which means it's probably perforated inside of there. That just means solid pipe with holes made for water. It's made to let water absorb into it and carry it to the end of the line. But then on the other downspout connections, they run solid pipe for some reason. Either way, with both of these systems combined, this yard should not be as squishy as it is. All right, y'all, we're at the same job. Here's just the other side of the house. We were over there on that side of the line. I come down between these two houses. Same problem. They got a weird wrapped pipe here at the back downspout running it forward. Clearly, it's not working very well. It hasn't rained in about three days here either. And we're about in the middle of hurricane season. So this should be pretty dry. They got a couple inches standing water here. So whatever the builder installed was definitely a poor job. And when you come down here at the end, we've got good slope here too. So these emission points should be pouring out water if there's that much there. Here's our customers here. Bone dry. There's no water in this catch basin. We don't like using catch basins as emitters. They did, which is fine, but there should be a lot of water up to the height here and there's not and then the neighbors is actually pretty much non-existent it is under the sod here to pull it up like carpet and there's this bone dry as well the water level should be at the top of these catch basins if it was done with proper slope Fun tip guys, whenever y'all get um, drainage systems installed, make sure to let your landscaping companies know. That way they can weed eat around these edges. Um, that's also why we don't like using these catch basins here, is because the sod grows right over them here in Florida. We're gonna take it, we're gonna run them underneath the sidewalk, all the way down to the curbing so it can get in the storm drain like it's supposed to properly drain. <laughs> so we just started this drain install right here. Joe's detaching these existing downspout redirectors. It goes in this way. And for some reason it comes backwards. And then I guess goes forward? Rather than to the front. Not quite sure. How we start these jobs, we lay tarps down whenever we're digging. That way we can cut the sod off, set it to the side, and then put the dirt on top of the tarp. That way it doesn't get caught in the yard. Whenever we finish, we just flip it back over. It's all cleaned up nicely like we weren't even here. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that. All right, we chopped the sod up, set it to the side. You can see it's all sitting right there on the side of it. Once we did that, we trenched out the dirt enough so we can get the pipe and still have good slope. Dropped in a catch basin here. This downspout that was coming backwards, we cut it off, reconnected it with our Y into the system. Now that we're done with this part right here, just finishing up putting that catch basin in, we're just gonna take this tarp, flip the dirt back in, put the sod on top, continue, continue down the drain.
All right, y'all, we're a little bit halfway over this side. Joe's putting the dirt back on. He's back filling right now. Ran into a ton of clay, so we had to break out the rotary hammer. That's what happens here in Epperson area, here in Wesley Chapel. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> got this downspout connected here, teed in. Now that we've got real good slope coming to the front yard. Solids all removed. Just got to trench out a little bit. If we can, we're gonna go under the sidewalk. If not, we're gonna put an emitter here and we're gonna continue it here with the catch basin. That way they don't have a ton of water buildup and mildew starts growing all along here. You can see how it's darker around here and then lighter where the driveway is. It's because the water stands in between these sidewalks. All right, y'all just finished up here. Jay, you wanna talk about that real quick? Sure, what we got here is like Nash explained earlier, is a pop-up. This is gonna let the water come out here onto this concrete. It's going to flow all the way down here to where the low point is. We put a catch basin, and that's going to come all the way out. We'll pop up here at the street. We like to do this when we cannot go underneath the sidewalk. And for this specific instance, we can't go under the sidewalk because both of the main water lines to each of the homes here go directly underneath this section of sidewalk that we would have to board under. So that was a no-go. This is the next best thing. All right. All right, y'all, we're all finished up here with this job. We're coming back tomorrow. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, so this pretty much sums it up for the job. All we gotta do is pack up our tools, get this dirt disposed of, and we'll be good to go. Joe, you got anything to add? It's too damn hot out here. It's a hot one today in Florida for sure. We're definitely excited for the winter. This video helped you guys out. If you got any questions, you can check us out at tampadraindudes.com. We post these on all our social medias. So if you can check us out at Facebook at Tampa Drain Dudes or subscribe here on YouTube if that's where you're watching it from. Catch y'all later.